Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So we're here in the Boneyard, a place where my ships go to die, you could say. Many of these ships have seen much testing, much action. We've got fighters, ground attack, and all sorts of things in here. And there's only one way of actually getting rid of a ship. First, you scrap the components, you take off the weapons, the ammunition, everything of use, and then you send it into the pit of death. Basically the drills will completely shred anything. And when I was building this I actually came up with a weaponized drill and I know you guys have been requesting drill weapons for a long time so let's get outside and actually have a look at some of the weapons that I came up with and then we'll have a go with them. So up here we have the first of the weapons this is what I call the crusher or the devastator Basically, it's like a spiked trap. What you could do, you could have this on a door, wall, a different place, maybe in your station, or you could even have it on a ship and have it fold and wrap around another ship and drill a massive square hole into it. So it basically works by having drills on one top, on a pinch, pinch, on a hinge, and then on the bottom, you've got them stationary stuck to the actual object itself. So we're going to have a go at crushing this small ship. So I'm just in a better position it, I think. So say you were coming through here and you could actually do this with some speed and trap them in here and it doesn't take much for these drills to rip apart a small ship. So first of all we're going to have to activate the actual bottom layer by getting a power generator on there. So we'll stick a small power generator. Bottom drills are now spinning up and now we're getting the top end and we activate the hinge. But before we do that we need to get our drills spinning up on top. So now it's basically the trap is closing on that poor little fighter. That little fighter is not going to stand a chance. Just look how it gets disintegrated. Well, there we go. There's, there's nothing left of it. All that's left now is the components that were originally inside. Just by squeezing it between it, it's completely murdered the ship. <laughs> right, so let's get out of this thing and let's deactivate that. So let's actually see what we've got left. I think all that was actually left of it is the components that are inside the little boxes so yeah just stones some ores that's all that is left I'm afraid so I took it a step further I decided that that's fine so I mounted it on the front of my original torpedo ship we've not got any torpedoes in here just to do the weight a little bit better but we've got two sets of drills top and bottom and the idea is if we do a kamikaze attack on that ship that will be able to drill a, basically a hole through it as we push through. I've not tested the reaction of drills when drills are actually fired at but we'll test that at the end as well. So we're going to try to drive through these ships and then into that one. So let's get in the actual cockpit and let's give this thing a try. So the cockpit is located up here. I'll just remove this block so I can get in a little bit easier. Well, first of all, we actually need to activate the drills. And activating the drills is pretty much the same. You just turn on a power generator. And I know it takes about seven of these little things to power it. So there's one layer done. And then we just need another seven. And there we go. So that is two layers of blades turning. And my frame rate is going to probably die. So let's actually try this before my computer dies of some lag sort of infested disease. So I do apologise for that annoying background noise, but we're just going to have to put up with it. So let's actually begin. So first up is the fighters, and I'm going to probably miss it. So this is pretty slow ship anyway. Right, so the fighters are getting stuck into the blades. What's actually happening to them though? Not too much damage actually, but they are getting stuck in there and getting grinded up. Yeah, there we go. Completely grinded. And all that's left just filters out the side there in the back of the drill point. Right, so we're going to start this thing up and have a drill on that to see if we can actually penetrate it or how effective it actually is in a ramming motion. So let's get these things turned on. So we need to place seven of these. Seven. We need to place seven of these. Well, there's eight there, but it doesn't really matter. This is where my computer suffers with some terrible lag. And... We'll stick that right on the front so we can get the best possible view of when we actually ram into it. So let's try to just actually get to the control panel with all this lag and suffering that I'm going through. Right, there we go. So let's actually crank this thing up and get over there. 
So we'd, all we've got in front of us is this big red ship to chew on. We're going to see how effective it actually is. And if a ramming ship with this sort of tool on the front would be effective, or would it just simply just break off all the drill front ends? I do apologise for that drilling noise, but there's nothing I can really do about it unless I mute it. And if I mute it, then there'll be no sound at all. And it'll probably be more realistic like space as we slowly grow closer. The red ship is in fear of what may happen to it. So, we just I'm inching forward. I could go faster, but I think if I go faster, it might defeat the point of it. I wonder how it works, though, if someone fires something at you or just flies into you by mistake and they'll get eaten. Uh, right, here we go. Contact will be made. And there we go. So we've began eating the other ship. But how well? God damn it, it looks pretty it looks pretty good this. This looks like we actually it's working. I was expecting it not to work. I was expecting this to actually just hit it and then probably blow up or something. But it looks like we're actually drilling in and cutting a nice big hole in the side. So we'll keep putting the accelerator down and see what we get. I know sometime soon we didn't have some sort of serious accident, something's gonna break. But from the look of it. We've not been drilling for too long, and we're in the side of them. I mean, maybe this could be like a banditry ship to get um, supplies out of merchant sort of merchant vessels. Or maybe not, I don't know. But we're pushing. It's that obviously, it's not supposed to keep in intact. It's just supposed to be able to keep the pressure on. Oh, look at that. Look at that cut. Right through there. That's working beautifully. Keep the pressure on. See how far we can get. Now this is, looks like where our ship's starting to disintegrate and I'm going to disintegrate in a second, right on the front there. I'm just going to take off in my own little cockpit. <laughs> I don't believe it's still actually working. Alright, there's me. Out. So, it's still, it is still working away in there and we have got quite a considerable amount of damage. And we'll check the amount of damage by simply doing this. Alright, so we basically drilled into the side. Maybe if we went faster it would work. Maybe if we went faster the drill bits might break off. But for instance, that is a quite interesting bit of damage. So maybe drills are a weapon that we could actually use in the future. Right, so this is a torpedo going out the actual grinder. What will take more damage, the drill or the actual object itself? That is the question. And it looks like the drills have not actually taken any damage at all. So we could do with the doing this test at a higher speed. Right, we're looking for the drills to actually have taken some damage, possibly actually been destroyed. Right, so we're going to try firing a missile at it to see what it does. And the drill is completely unable to actually hold off a rocket. I reckon it will be alright with machine gun fire. But against a rocket, it is useless, and against a fast torpedo, it'd be useless as well for any sort of protection. I guess it's a good way, though, to deter someone from actually wanting to board your ship. Because yeah, if they got too close to that, they'd actually be boarded themselves, I think. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>